Let me start out by telling you that my family and I take the attack against you very seriously. Especially considering that you are the World Heavyweight Champion. And to make sure it doesn't happen again, I'm assigning you a bodyguard. Bobby Lashley. A bodyguard? Stephanie, come on! I'm sorry, that's non-negotiable. Champ, did you see who it was who hit you? No, I didn't see anything. Whoever it was knocked me out from behind and ran. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there are only two suspects. Randy Orton and Batista. You and Lashley will be taking them on in a tag team match tonight so that we can keep an eye on everyone at once while we start our investigation. And speaking of the investigation, who do you think we should focus on first? told Stephanie McMahon and Teddy Long because all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of questions from them about what happened to you at No Way Out. Look, I know you probably think I had something to do with it, but you're forgetting that every time I've mixed it up with you, I've been mad enough to do it in the ring, not backstage. And I don't care if you've got a bodyguard or not, because tonight I'm going to take you out once and for all. And like I say, I'm going to do it in the ring between the bells. I hate to say it, Taz, but it doesn't seem beyond the realm of possibility that Batista could have been behind the attack on the champion last Sunday at No Way Out. He had the motive, that's for sure. Getting a chance to win the World Heavyweight title right before WrestleMania could make a superstar, even one like Batista, do some desperate things. Considering Orton's behavior over the past several weeks, I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one who attacked the champ at No Way Out, but I'm not sure what he had to gain from it. Sometimes bad blood is enough of a motive. Or maybe he was hoping to get a title match at WrestleMania from Batista. Who knows? It seems like Randy Orton has always got a trick or two up his sleeve. The champion didn't seem to be too pleased to find out that he was being assigned a bodyguard, Taz. Although, if you could handpick your protection, you'd be hard-pressed to find a safer bet than Lashley. Not for nothing, Lashley is just the kind of dude you want. Big, tough, ex-military guy, and as mean as hell. But as far as him not wanting a bodyguard, well, I can't blame Stephanie McMahon and Teddy Long for getting him one anyway. They need the champ at 100% for WrestleMania. Welcome to a sold-out SmackDown from San Antonio, Texas. Do we have an exciting show for you tonight? Oh, I'm telling you, man, I can't wait for the action to start. Just listen to these fans! I don't think 
there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the, this could be big, but it could backfire real bad, too. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring. There's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out to this one, Cole. You and me both, partner, and we might be about to see another one right here. Come on, ref. That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Cole. But it's not. It's not a disqualification. I can't think of the last time I saw a superstar with the speed and raw power of this man, Bobby Lashley. Lashley's a stud, no doubt about it. But he does lack some experience. In time, he'll get it and then beware. Well, Lashley has proven that he's a quick study to ask. He was impressive when he first came to SmackDown, and he's only gotten more so with each week that goes by. Yeah, don't, don't count the chickens before they hatch. Lesh not there yet, but I know it, man. I'm telling you, he's on his way. Whoa, submission hole locked in. We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will create a lot of fight out of him. Oh, man, oh, this is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. He's got him covered. <laughs> These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them. He smells right. blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style and his offense is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, keep your head together and you're winning them, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man, Taz. Surely you can't forget about them. Well, you see, that's the other 50%. Good luck with that if you know what I'm saying. By the way, let me ask you a question. Are you call me Shirley? I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I lost in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're saying. Wow. Great reversal. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission board. That means you gotta either dig deep and find a way to break it, or you gotta just run out and tap out. These WWE fans just can't get enough of it. He can get the pin right here. Here are your winners, The Undertaker and Bobby Lashley.
to know exactly what you were up to at No Way Out when the World Heavyweight Champion was being attacked. So let's hear it. Steph, you can't seriously believe that I do something like that. Look, our family's made this business what it is today. There's no way I'd tarnish my family name. Or yours by doing something that cowardly. Actually, Randy, didn't your father make his name by mugging superstars with a plaster cast for Rowdy Roddy Piper? A backstage attack on the champion seems like it would be right up your family's alley. Hey, now, I don't need to stand here and take this. You're not my general manager. You don't have any authority over me. The only authority I need is my last name. And if you're gonna take that attitude with me, you can face the champion and his bodyguard in a handicap match right now. Oh, my! A handicap hardcore match against the champion and Lashley. I don't know if this is going to bring us any closer to finding out if Orton was the one who attacked the champ in No Way Out, but I think the champ's going to enjoy this nonetheless. Yeah, even if Orton's innocent, and I have my doubts, the champ's still got a few post-match attacks he owes Orton. Good evening, and welcome to SmackDown. Coming to you tonight from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Lena is fired up tonight, Cole. No doubt about it, baby. And I'm just as pumped up as this sellout crowd. With good reason, Taz. You and I both know what's coming. And these fans are definitely getting their money's worth tonight. What a submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style is up. I don't know what's more uncomfortable, watching this or experiencing it. Uh, duh, uh, I think maybe experiencing it? Come on, Cole, wake up. Oh, my, he's taking his opponent for a very uncomfortable ride here. Yeah, he's like one of those, uh, one of those, one of those, those two cowboys in that movie that you like so much. What the heck was that called? I can't remember. This capacity, he ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. Look at how tight he's got it locked in. I see that, Taz. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. These fans have certainly rallied around Bobby Lashley, and it's not hard to see why. Lashley just needs to stay focused and take care of business right now in that ring. Lashley's made a name for himself doing exactly that, Taz, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Man, you talk about superstars who ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too crammed and realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredible. And there's the pin! One, two, Here are you. Hey, champ, it's Stephanie McMahon. 
Teddy Long and I have decided to give you the night off from in-ring action, so feel free to rest up a bit before WrestleMania. Just, um, stay away from that tramp, Tori Wilson. <laughs> God, can you believe WrestleMania is only a week from this Sunday? By the way, the board of directors should be announcing your WrestleMania opponent very soon, so hang in there just a little longer. Anyway, enjoy your night off. Hey, champ. I heard you got the night off tonight. Way to go the extra mile to represent SmackDown. But since neither one of us has a match, and since we're both here in the arena, how about you meet me in the parking lot, and we'll settle things once and for all. You can bring your bodyguard if you don't trust me, but if you got any pride at all, you'll leave him out of the fight.
You think you proved anything, you son of a bitch? Huh? Do you? What the? Nice going, man. Now let's get the hell out of here. But he's supposed to be his bodyguard. Somebody get some help back there. Taz, does this mean that Lashley was working with Orton all along, or did Orton get them after he was assigned as the champion's bodyguard? The only thing that matters is that the champ has been broken in half, and he's not going to WrestleMania. Hey champ, it's Steph again. Listen, I'm really sorry about what happened with Lashley. That kind of backfired on us, but just between the two of us, it was Teddy Long who chose him, not me. Anyway, the contracts are signed for your WrestleMania match against Orton, so all you have to do is survive your grudge match against Lashley tonight. I think you're crazy to take him on three days before WrestleMania, but it's your call. Good luck, champ. I've got to admit, Taz, I never would have suspected that Lashley was working with Orton to set up the World Heavyweight Champion. I guess we should have seen it coming. Having the bodyguard do the dirty work is like an Orton family tradition. Tell me, Taz, do you think the champion is making a mistake taking on his former bodyguard three days before defending his title at WrestleMania? No, I don't, and here's why. The champ's out there to prove that he's not intimidated by Orton or Lashley. I think it's a bold move, but I think it's the right one, too. A sold-out crowd in Memphis, Tennessee is on its feet. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, all set for another exciting evening of SmackDown action. Hey, we're big in the elephants tonight, Cole. This crowd can't wait. That's a big claim to make, Taz. But you might just be right. Elvis is only one superstar, but SmackDown's got a whole locker room full of them. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than... Oh my, there's the submission hold! He's in the driver's seat now! No doubt, Cole, if your opponent lets you lock that in, it usually means that they ain't got much left. He dodged that bullet! The 
thing you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool, keep, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, this is going to be big, one way or the other. He was one step ahead on that one. He anticipated that move perfectly. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nothing costs you a match quicker than overcome. What are you talking about? I see a dominant superstar who's rallying this capacity crowd behind him. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Oh, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on him... Here it is, Taz. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. I'll tell you what, if his opponent's got to bring his head, he'll get the heck out. He may get the three count right One, here. Two. Come on. That had to be three. Man, even if you end Look at this! You don't often see a superstar's own finishing move used against them like this! And here's the cover! Here's your winner! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pinnacle of sports entertainment, the main event at WrestleMania. And here we go. Taz, as Randy Orton makes his way to the ring to compete for the most prestigious prize in our industry, SmackDown's World Heavyweight title. It just don't get any bigger than this, I'm telling you. And speaking of big, just get a load of Lashley. You gotta like Randy Orton's chances of leaving with the title here tonight when he's got a guy like Lashley in his corner. He's a huge superstar for sure, partner, and I'm sure he's going to have a huge impact in this title match. But remember, it was the ever-opportunistic Randy Orton who did everything he could to set himself up for this moment over the last couple of months. And you can bet he's not going to stop now. No one can say that the World Heavyweight Champion hasn't given Randy Orton every possible advantage. He's even letting Orton bring his former bodyguard, Lashley, to the ring as his manager. The champ knows that if he's gonna beat Orton, he's gotta beat him decisively, Cole. I'm telling you that right now. If he wins here tonight, there is no way Orton or anyone else can say he's not the real deal. And winning is on his mind to be sure, but win, lose, or draw, what an unbelievable honor and opportunity it is for this man to defend SmackDown's World Heavyweight title right here at WrestleMania.
These fans will let them hear about it. I don't think that's going to happen, King. These competitors know that their paychecks come straight from the WWE fans. They're not going to let them down. Yeah, but if they don't keep the fans happy... If, if, if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. But that's not the case now, is it? Did you ever think you'd be watching these superstars compete against each other here tonight, JR? I had a feeling to pass. That submission is locked in, JR, and this is a tough hole to break. It sure is, King, and even if you break the hole, it takes its toll. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. Are you sure? I think someone's going for a high-risk move, JR. Superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. What'd you expect, King? This isn't ballet, you know. Oh, really, JR? Gosh, he's a three right. count away from a pinfall. He saw that one coming. I've got to say, JR, I'm really impressed by what we've seen here tonight. How could you not be, King? These are some of the finest athletes in all the sports entertainment. I know that, JR. I'm just saying that this has been a great match so far. It has indeed, King. And I think it's only going to get better from here on out. This match has the potential to be an instant classic. But I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, King? I don't believe it. We might see a superstar get beat for their own finishing move here. One, two. That was like two and seven eighths, JR. His opponent is helpless. And he's taking full advantage. Wow, that's one of the biggest chest snaps I've ever seen. If he's able to dominate his opponent like this, JR, he's got this match half one. A blow to the chest like that one. He's climbing up. I'm not so sure this is a good idea. Oh, boy. He's... And it's been reversed. And there's a little something for the crowd. The best superstars never ignore their fame. The best superstars also finish off their opponents instead of giving them time to recover. Excellent count. What ring presence. My God, would you look at the power of this superstar. Here we go. Tombstone pile driver. He's going for the pin. He did it. He did it. Against all odds, the champion retained the World Heavyweight title. What a match. Seriously, I'm in shock. Orton brought back up to the ring and everything and still just got handled by the champ. Absolutely the greatest superstar in the business today. What an incredible champion. What a WrestleMania.